Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you about cystic fibrosis pulmonary imaging in children. Terminology: cystic fibrosis is a condition of autosomal recessive multi-system disorder caused by dysfunction chloride ion transport across epithelial surface, leading to Sickening of the secretion, mucus, digestive fluid, sweet. In lung, abnormal mucus and degraded white blood cells, resulting in chronic airway infection, recurrent inflammation and infection, chronic airway damage. Most common signs and symptoms. First symptom may be delayed passage of mechanism with bowel absorption plus minor preparation in newborn with mechanism alias. In childhood, patients often look similar to asthma patients, presenting with chronic cough and wheezing. Other signs and symptoms, chronic constipation, recurrent pancreatitis, hepatobiliary disease, clapping of finger and toe. Clinical profile, most detected on the monitor screening. After symptom development, testing by sweat chloride, more than 60 milli equivalent per ml, positive for cystic fibrosis. Demographic age. One year GI symptoms are more common. 90% by 12 year respiratory is more typical. Second core distribution between male and female, so male have longer life expectancy. Epidemiology, most common letter J gen, defect in Y patient, one over 25,000 affected, much less common in patient with African or Asian ancestry. Most common imaging in the upper lobe, superior lobe, peripronchial sickening, early finding, mosaic attenuation due to air trapping, basin on expiratory scan, bronchitis with signate marine signs, Mucus plug within dilated bronchitis, three input, central lobar nodular nod opacity. Radiograph in a patient with cystic fibrosis, so prominent bronchitis in the upper lobe plus left. Lower low consolidation with no duality. And this is non contrast enhanced CT in a cystic fibrosis patient. So bilateral upper low bronchiectasis with consolidation of the anterior segments of the left upper low. Note the signet ring signs in the right. Upper lobe with the dilated pompous forming the ring and the adjacent artery formed by a touch tumor. Frontal radiograph in the, the chest in a seven years old with cystic fibrosis, so my peripronchial sickening. In the period highlight region, an earlier finding of cystic fibrosis that is in the distinguished sepal from common viral bronchiolitis. Additional peripronchial sickening is seen in the left base. Front of view of the chest in a seven 
years old, girl with 65 crosses, so sick to blood and nodular this density in the right upper lobe, not the bronchial basis. In the left upper lobe, muscle impact in the dilated bronchi is referred to as a finger in glove apron. Contrast enhanced CT MIP in a patient with cystic fibrosis, so mucus impacts in the dilated bronchi in the right upper lobe, which is known as the finger in glove apparent. Also note the bronchiectasis in the left upper lobe, as well as the dilated bronchial artery. Coronal chest CT in a patient with CSF, so bronchiectasis and multiple bronchi in the upper lobe with a left lobe lobe consolidation. Treatment. Goal, decrease lung damage from motor plugging and infection. Whereas internal and external airway clearance technique, prophylactic and antibiotic to decrease chance of infection. Plus minus long term IV for recurrent lung infection. New medicines target at specific cyst. Actia mutation. Plus minus lobectomy for patient in single lobe complication. And state lung disease may require lung transplantation. Thank you.